Wait, but this you can't put on. That's weird. You can't put that on. <laughs> Why are you coming to get footage of it then? <laughs> Alright, I'm actually really excited about this one. We are going to be creating a full 3D model that is rigged and animated of just a human, a friend, or anything like that. As a quick overview, there's going to be a couple main steps. First, it's, we're going to talk about capturing your media. Then we're going to go into how do you create your photogrammetry model of your person. Then we're going to clean it up in this program Blender. And then finally, we're going to upload it to Adobe Luxano and create a full rig and animation for it. I should say, I will be doing a general overview of each of these steps. If you're already familiar, feel free to skip through in the time code to what you want to learn. Um, and then also, if you want to get into an even more in-depth tutorial, I'll be actually linking a bunch of the different resources and tutorials that I learned all of this from down in the description, which will be separated out for each of these sections. So if you have more questions, please consult those. That's how I learned all of this stuff. This is a general condensing of all of this information to create this amazing 3D model. All right, the first part of this is going to be capturing your media. And in order to do that, you need to find a friend. All right, what exactly is photogrammetry? Photogrammetry is basically the process of circling around an object, taking a lot of photos and feeding those photos through a program like Meshroom or Reality Capture, which will then give you a 3D model that is also textured. All right, step one, capturing radio. Ideally, you're gonna to wanna to do this on a cloudy day so there's no harsh shadows from the sunlight. You're also gonna to wanna to have your model wear good contrasty clothes with lots of little details, which will help the software track in 3D space. So not having anything that's straight black would be good. Also, try not to have any loose clothing or little strands of hair. So if you have someone with longer hair, ask them to put their hair up. I found that while a T-pose is ideal for rigging, it doesn't always create the best photogrammetry models. So have your model stand in a semi-T-pose with enough room to see parts of the armpit. Because remember, you're gonna be able to see that when your model is stretching up and down with an anime. Have their feet pointed straight forward and do this on level ground. Now for capturing the media, ideally you'll have an actual camera with manual focus and exposure, but if not, an iPhone is actually pretty decent at getting a similar result, especially for these more rougher, just fun models. Instead of taking individual pictures, I found it easiest to take photos and then just convert it into a JPEG sequence later. And this is really important. Before you actually have your friend stand there and take a video of them, I definitely recommend you standing there yourself, holding your arms out for at least two to three minutes, just so you can get a sense of what you're putting your friends through so you can really appreciate them because it can get really uncomfortable. And you wanna make sure that you actually understand what they're going through and what you're putting them through just to create this 3D model. When it comes to recording, I found that it's best to do three passes from wide where you can see your entire model as you circle around them and you're doing it from one high, one medium, and one low angle. Then go in and do the same thing around their head, and then I would go in and get their armpits and get all around their arm as well, and any other parts which would be good to get the details for. You can do that if you want the best possible model, but that'll also mean you'll be filming for close to like five minutes. That's a strain on your friendship, so I would definitely recommend shortening that. I usually just do two passes from wide, three passes on their head, and then going around as quickly as I can for the rest of the armpits. Also, in between moving your positions, make sure it's a slow, gradual change so the software can properly track where you are in 3D space. Now, if you actually create your model, you're gonna first need to take your footage and put it into your editing software of choice. I've found that speeding up your footage so it takes up about 10 to 20 seconds is best. That's gonna give you about 300 to 600 photos if you're filming at 30 frames per second. The more photos you have, the better the model will be, but that'll also increase processing time and potentially increase cost depending on what software you're using. I usually like to aim for right about 450, 500 photos. Once you have your footage sped up, export it as a JPEG sequence, and then drag those footage into your photogrammetry software of choice. Meshroom is a great free program. I really like using Reality Capture, which is free to download, and it is a pay per input, which means you pay per each model, but you still get to go through the full process of creating the model before you pay for it. In the end, it comes up to about a couple dollars per model with Reality Capture, and that is the software that I will be showing in this tutorial, but Meshroom is completely free on Windows if you want to use that instead. Once you have all your photos in Reality Capture, press start and wait for it to process. While technically this is supposed to do everything for you, I have found that sometimes it doesn't export with the textures. So I always press texture again after it's gone through the entire process. And once it's textured again, you can go and export it as an OBJ file.
As you can see, music is another passion of mine. For cleaning up your model, open up Blender, delete everything, and import the OBJ. And then take a deep breath because it is probably going to take a couple minutes for it to process the OBJ because of the millions of vertices in this file. Once it's loaded, select the mesh and apply a decimate modifier. And this is really important before you do anything else, make sure to turn off the viewport display for this decimate modifier so that your computer doesn't have to do the same calculation twice. Then turn on statistics so you can see the poly count. Right now we're aiming for about 50,000 to 100,000 vertices. Adjust the percentage value in that decimate modifier to get that ideal poly count. I usually found a value about 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 to be good. Then apply the decimate modifier, go into edit mode with x-ray turned on, go to whatever orthographic viewport is pointing down at your model, then press C, scroll up on the mouse wheel until your selection covers the entire model. Select that, Control I inverse and then delete all of the vertices around your model. Now you can take your model, orient it properly, and then add a default cube. The default cube is about two meters in length, so adjust the scale of your model to get the right proportions. Then move your default cube and your models so they're just barely intersecting at the feet of your model. Add a Boolean modifier to your model and select the cube as the Boolean. Then apply the Boolean to give you the flat feet of your model. Go into edit mode, hover over your model, press L, then Control I to select any loose geometry. Press X to delete, and there you have it, your full model. But there's a couple more things we can do to optimize this model. Take a second to look at your model in edit mode. If it looks like there's too many vertices, add another decimate modifier. The important part for these next steps though, is keep in mind what your end goal is. If you're gonna use this model in the background of a crowd, you don't need nearly as much detail than if you'd use it in, as an actual character in an animation. Being aware of the detail that you actually need in your model is gonna save you so much time. Next, go into sculpt mode and use the smoothing tool to smoothen out all the vertices, as I'm sure there's a lot of weird little noise and grainy bits. That's likely going to make your model too smooth though, so use the crease tool with plus or minus to add ridges and folds into the clothes. I've also found the inflate tool really useful for limbs, as photogrammetry doesn't always do a good job with that. Once you're happy with the mesh, you'll likely find that the actual texture still has some weird splotches of the sky or little things in different parts where it shouldn't be. To solve this, go into texture paint mode, I drop the nearest color, and paint over any of those little splotches. And as an extra hint, you can create a noise texture and use that as the mask for your brush, which will really help this feel more natural. Keep in mind still the actual level of detail that you need for this model. It's not likely that you're gonna be able to see a lot of these smaller parts, so just getting something that's similar enough in color should be fine. Then go into the shader editor, add a color ramp, and attach that to your image texture. Attach that to your roughness and also a bump node for your normal values. I like to adjust the strength value of the bump node to something like 0.1 or 0.05, just to get a little bit of extra three-dimensional detail that you probably lost in the smoothing process. For rigging and animating, it's actually surprisingly easy with the website Adobe Mixana. Select your mesh, export as an FBX. If there are any other objects in your scene, click Limit to Select It Only, set the path mode to Copy, and press this little button which will embed the textures within the file. Go to Adobe Mixano, create an account if you don't already have an Adobe account, upload your character, orient the model, and then place the markers at each joint. I usually have to turn off symmetry for parts of it to get the joints in the right place. Then hit Next and wait a couple minutes as it processes your model. Once that's done, hit next and ignore the message that says your previous character will not be saved. It'll give you that message even if you don't have a previous character uploaded and it really confused me the first time. So just hit next and continue going and you will get to the page where you can actually select your different animations. Looks Bro, good. your shoulders are jacked. <laughs> your shoulders are huge. Once you've got an animation that you like, all you gotta do is just hit download, download the FBX, select your camera for a second. Just file, import, FBX, import, wait a second, and then here you have it. <laughs> yeah, I can do all these things in real life. Really? Why don't you yeah, look, do, do, this one right, do this one right now? Come on, the, the, the no, floor is right there. It's late. It's late, it's bro? Late. We just had dinner. We just ate. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fun. <laughs> stroke, bro. Does that mean I'm... Oh my God, that's <laughs> literally like a heart attack. Like you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Hey, Wait, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Swing to land. Oh! <laughs> I'm imagining like a thousand of you just doing Swimming. this. Swimming. <laughs> it's 
Gary Pamela. Wait. <laughs> we can have you assassinating yourself. <laughs> Wait a second. So if I set the goal to be this object, watch this. <laughs> For battle, we're gonna set their strength to five. <laughs> the battle is off. <laughs> Who's gonna be the one to win? Oh shit! <laughs> Green wins. <laughs> Hurricane kick. <laughs> Just something I thought you'd appreciate. Why'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> like what if I'm applying to something and they look up Gaz Renders? <laughs> just like... I can't have them, you know, look up my name, look up Gaz Renders when they see me calling you whatever I said, which will never be known. <laughs> there was a part we edited out no, for good reason. No, you can't tell them. You can't tell Because then they're going to feel bad. Then they're going to feel bad. They're going to feel left yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> the viewers are going to feel left out. You can't tell them, oh, you should have been there. I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. We'll, we'll pull the classic YouTuber, make a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to really pay for that? Mom, do you hear this? Do you oh hear my God. friend? That's <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. Um, this was a lot of fun to make and I hope it was fun to watch. And if there's any confusion about the stuff that I talked about, let me know. Or also improvements to this video too, because I know there's probably a lot more ways that could be more efficient to do all the things I did. Yeah, all that classic YouTube stuff, comment, subscribe, like. No need to turn on the notifications yeah, for this channel. Yeah, that's not necessary, really. We're not really that important. <laughs> We're really <laughs> not. <laughs> to y'all that are out there, um, Again, wait, just to clarify, y'all meaning the seven people that have subscribed to this yes, channel. Yes, our seven dedicated- Who are very special, families. and we love them very much. And they have a One dear place in our hearts. <laughs> we will end it there. Thank you for watching again. I hope you enjoyed it. Woo! We did it. Woo! We did do it. We did it. Now I need to record the actual- you didn't do the tutorial <laughs> yet? No! Oh, I, I need to, I need to, um, I need to, I assume you like to say all the steps and everything. I think it should be relatively quick. So what's the, what's the, the idea? Right. No, I actually, at some point though, for one of the challenge videos, I want to do it where we're like playing a game of FIFA and I have to like talk to the camera uh, while so doing you, it. So you gotta time. give a tutorial while I'm kicking your ass. Bro, fuck off. That's no, what I'm no. the camera back on for. He made me, I said hey, that line night. before. I said that line before. Good night. And for the record, he said, no, wait, wait, turn on the camera and say it again. I had to do it. I had to do it to you. <laughs> oh my lord.